you're going to open your Windows 10 laptop on October 14th, 2025 and find the blue screen of death if you do not upgrade to Windows 11 right now. I mean, right? Well, not exactly. You see, Windows 10 end of service is coming on October 14th, 2025. And if you're a business owner, an employee, or a manager of a fleet of devices, still relying on Windows 10, you need to keep watching this video. I'll explain what this means, what options you have, and how to turn this whole ordeal into an opportunity. With Windows 10 end of service right around the corner, you have a few options, but if you're a business, it may be even easier to make this transition than you anticipated. You see, AMD is offering their test drive program to businesses right now. You can get into a brand new device, such as the ThinkPad T14S, and test it out for free to see if AMD latest Ryzen Pro lineup is the right fit to boost your team's productivity and help you transition from Windows 10 to Windows 11. But I'll tell you a little more about that later in the video. Now, full disclosure, AMD did partner with me to make this video. Is Windows 10 really going away? You're fired. What do you need to do to be prepared in 2025? You see, Windows 10 debuted in 2015, providing performance, security, and user-friendly features aka simplicity. However, like any software product, it has a predetermined support life cycle, and Microsoft is winding down updates for Windows 10 in favor of Windows 11. Now, with an official end of service date on October 14th, 2025, if you don't or can't upgrade, you'll no longer receive security patches or improvements, leaving your system exposed to new threats. Now, if you're still on Windows 10 and you are one of the few holdouts, Survive! do note that you are are not alone. I am personally a holdout of Windows 10. And you realize that there are 58% of Windows users still using Windows 10, now, compared to the roughly 38% of users who have migrated to Windows 11. Now, part of the reason is the simple inertia. If Windows 10 is working well, many people, including myself, don't see a pressing need to upgrade. Now, additionally, hardware requirements for Windows 11 can pose a hurdle for businesses that rely on older machines without TPM 2.0 support or modern processors. Now, large organizations also tend to be cautious about deploying new operating systems across multiple devices, fearing potential software incompatibilities or training overhead for their teams. Which is why AMD's test drive program could be a great option for businesses to try before they buy. All right, now let's get into the specific options that are available to you. Simply put, you could upgrade to Windows 11. Easy, bam, done. Just upgrade to Windows 11, but you'll need to make sure you meet the system requirements. First thing is the processor, a supported 64-bit CPU, Intel 8th Gen or newer, or AMD Ryzen 2000 series or newer. At least four gigs of memory, a minimum of 64 gigs of storage available in the system. So not just 64 gigs of storage, but available 64 gigs of storage. Firmware and security, you need to have TPM 2.0, the trusted platform module, and secure boot capability in UEFI mode. Now graphics, they must be DirectX 12 compatible, GPU with WDDM 2.0 driver, and your display, it must be a high definition display of 720p minimum and over nine inches in size. Now most newer laptops and desktops sold in the last few years meet these specs. If you're unsure whether your current device is compatible, you can simply Google your system processor compatibility with Windows 11. If it is compatible, you'll just need to ensure that TPM 2.0 and Secure Boot are enabled in the BIOS. Now, TPM 2.0 is a big element of the push to upgrade. TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module, which is a small security chip built into many modern computers. It manages and stores critical cryptographic keys used for tasks like disk encryption and system integrity checks. By keeping these keys in hardware rather than purely in software, TPM 2.0 adds a layer of protection against malware or hackers who might try to tamper with the operating system at its core level. This hardware-based security is one of the key requirements for Windows 11, allowing it to provide stronger defenses for features like Secure Boot, BitLocker, Drive Encryption, and Windows Hello Authentication. Now, Windows Extended Security Updates is another option that you have available. You can purchase a yearly subscription for Windows Security Updates. Customers have access to this program for $30 per year, but if you're a business, you have just plenty of money to throw at this thing, right? Like to keep you on Windows 10, you just, you know, you're a business, you got tons of cash laying around, you know, no big deal, I just wanna waste it. So for you, Windows has a special offer for their ESU program. $61 for the first year, $122 for the second year, 
and you got it, $244 for the third year. So a total of $427 per PC over the next couple of years. What a deal, right? I make that deal. Now the next option is to upgrade to a new laptop. If you've been thinking about upgrading your device or devices for your entire business, then this could be the nudge you were looking for. Now I have before me the ThinkBook T14S Gen 6. It has an AMD Ryzen Pro chip that provides you with an extremely power efficient, dedicated NPU, GPU, and CPU in one concise package, which enables you to utilize AI powered apps directly on your PC. Now, AMD Ryzen Pro not only offers great performance, but also great battery life, offering you all day battery life with some devices reaching up to 29 hours of battery life providing true on-the-go efficiency, up to 50% power improvement, up to 70% longer battery life for Microsoft Teams video. So if you're somebody who's on video calls a ton, there's much more efficiency in these latest chipsets to give you much better battery life on the go for those types of tasks. Now, Premiere Pro optimizes an AI powered video editing with AMD AI with tools such as 4K motion to blur. If you have somebody on your team doing a lot of video editing on the go, these devices could be an awesome fit as well. So you and your team will have the efficiency and the performance you need, but what about the security? Which is the crux of the issue with the sunset of Windows 10 support. And before diving into that, in case you are considering the AMD test drive program, all you need to do is go to ryzen.pro slash test drive or click the links in the description below, select the device you want to test drive and then fill out the request form. Now what's awesome is they have a bunch of different devices and configurations to choose from. So you can make sure you and your team get exactly what's needed for each member or each department. Now why choose AMD when making the jump to Windows 11? Now AMD Ryzen Pro features a multi-layer security protocol. AMD Memory Guard, AMD Secure Processor, AMD Shadow Stack, AMD Platform Secure Boot. Now let's talk first about AMD Memory Guard. One of AMD's most notable security features is Memory Guard. This feature helps protect against certain physical attacks by encrypting the system memory in real time. This means that sensitive data like passwords, encryption keys, or personal files remain secure even if an attacker gains direct access to the computer's memory modules. Next layer is AMD Secure Processor. At the core of AMD security stack is the AMD Secure Processor, a dedicated hardware-based subsystem. It manages cryptographic operations and storage independently from the main CPU. By isolating these critical tasks, it ensures malware or attackers can't easily tamper with low-level processes like firmware checks or secure boot sequences, maximizing the system's overall integrity. Okay, now AMD Shadow Stack. Cyber criminals often exploit software vulnerabilities to hijack program execution flow via return-oriented programming or buffer overflow attacks. Now, AMD ShadowStack counters this by creating a hardware-enforced record of legitimate return addresses, making it much harder for an attacker to reroute code execution in malicious ways. This extra layer of defense helps preserve applications and system stability, reducing the risk of intrusion at the deepest levels of the operating system. Okay, AMD Platform Secure Boot. To prevent compromised firmware or unauthorized operating system loaders, AMD Platform Secure Boot works at the firmware level. It ensures only trusted software can launch during the boot processes by verifying code signatures. Coupled with AMD Secure Processor, this helps thwart rootkits and other advanced threats that aim to compromise a system before it fully powers on. No, all of this can't keep your team, the system users, from clicking on malicious files or downloading sketchy files or software from the internet. You'll still need an internal protocol or manifesto encouraging your team to take precautions when navigating the internet. AMD has provided very impressive results in real-world benchmarks. They've built out durable security hardware, and they've provided the system with an NPU capable of AI workloads so that you are future-proof as more and more AI tools become available in the business world. But keep in mind, right now, there are already over 150 AI-enabled experiences available today. Now, what about large IT teams managing a network of devices? The last thing I want to consider is remote monitoring, which is wildly helpful if you're planning to transition an entire workforce onto new systems, especially keeping those systems up to date, since many users tend to ignore crucial security patches. 
AMD provides a range of pro manageability features to help IT teams in large organizations monitor, control, and update systems across the network. You have centralized management tools, such as Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. This allows IT departments to push updates, track inventory, and manage settings without having to physically handle each machine. Remote diagnostics and troubleshooting. And then through AMD Pro Manageability, administrators can run diagnostics, issue commands, and even power devices on and off from a central dashboard. This reduces downtime by enabling quick problem resolutions no matter where users happen to be in the world. You also have secure remote access with hardware level security features like AMD Memory Guard and Platform Secure Boot. Each device remains protected, ensuring data and system integrity while administrators remotely access or modify system configurations. Now, it's very scalable for mixed environments. AMD's approach supports multi-vendor or cross-generational PC fleets, making it easier for organizations with diverse hardware to manage all devices using common enterprise tools and protocols. So you have the options available to you, and it's up to you to make the right decision for your team. Perhaps now is the time to upgrade and you can easily test a list of different AMD devices to make sure you pick the right one for each department in your organization. Perhaps your on-the-go team needs thin and light laptops with great battery life, while your dev team needs optimal performance and AI compatibility. Or maybe you have a team of architects or concept artists that need a lot of GPU performance. Well, in that case, go ahead, click the link in the description below to check out all the different options you have for the AMD test drive program. Get each department the device that fits their specific needs. I hope you can now confidently navigate Windows 10 end of service as a business. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.